Okay, so this guy made a two hour video about Haley and I, and it kind of goes through all the mistakes that we've made in our life and how some things we've said have been misguided and it talks about our marriage and buying a house and how we've done those things a little bit wrong. And um, the video itself is great. Like the dude is very, very smart, super informed, vocabulary is amazing. And the video probably took hundreds of hours to make. So, I mean, the video itself is fantastic, but imagine it's pretty tough to watch someone analyze and dissect every mistake you've made in your life. And it's really, really hard. So um, I reached out to him on Twitter and basically asked if I could have a phone call with him and just like on a human human level talk to him, but he didn't want to do that, which I respect. So we talked on Twitter for hours, kind of trying to like shed light on each other, find some middle ground. And that's what we did. And it was good. It was really, really good. Um, we're actually very similar people for the most part. Like he's 27 years old. He has a kid on the way, he has a wife. He has a PhD, he's super smart, and it was really nice getting to talk to him because our backgrounds are actually pretty similar. And so that was nice. Um, Haley hasn't watched the video because we're going through some personal hardships right now. Like we just lost a loved one and it's really tough time. And you can imagine, like I, like I said, this video is traumatizing. So, um, so yeah, I mean, we're an open book. You can go watch the video. It's the perfect video essay if we ever want to look back on all the mistakes that we've made in our life. It's public, which is super fun. Um, and yeah, like we're not hiding anything. It's tough because, I mean, obviously, like all these things that he says in the video, we don't have the ability to watch the video with you and uh, respond to everything he says as you watch it. Um, and so I hope you guys just realize that some of this stuff doesn't represent us well anymore. Like some of the footage that he uses is a year old or a two years, two years old, or some of it's even like a couple months old and it no longer represents us well. And that's just the weird side of the internet. Post something and it represents you forever on the internet. And I'm, I'm not asking for some sort of immunity from social criticism for that reason. And honestly, like the video is, is not as bad as it may seem because I'm doing this big thing. Um, you to make your own judgments but i know that you watching this are the people who actually support us and don't want to see our marriage crash and burn and watch us lose everything and sometimes it feels like the energy in the comment section like that's what people want um and so for you we're happy to address all of our past mistakes or concerns that you have so just let me know like i'm not here to run away from anything and neither is Haley. um but just also know like this is a a tough situation for us What's up, oh my god so yeah we are human beings we are figuring life out just like you are so please don't hold us to some standard of perfection because we're going to fail you every time i know social media makes it feel like these like very i don't even know how to explain it. i know we don't feel like we should have to operate under the same rules as you but we are human beings we're imperfect we're gonna fail we're gonna make mistakes and videos like this artificialize our life and make us feel a certain way that will cause us to make more mistakes. And I, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I'm done.